heading into my guest bathroom to get it uh, finished decorating. Now I have gone ahead and painted the walls. They were kind of a tan color. I painted them kind of a blue color uh, to kind of match my inspiration piece, which is here, this beautiful uh, mermaid that I found in Hobby Lobby. But I took the color here, this blue color, uh, from her and used it to paint my walls and uh, some of the other accents in here have that color as well uh, Now I have got my shelves already on the wall. Now you did see me do a um, Dry brush technique on these shelves also on the shower curtain hooks that are up here, which you'll see in a moment and also um, also the uh, the coral, <laughs> the coral that I dry brush, and they'll be added into here as well. But what I'm going to show you today is uh, the decoration of these three shelves. This is a very small space, so uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna work this video yet. I'm gonna kind of play it by ear. Uh, but anyway, after it's all done, after the shelves are all done, I will show you everything uh, in the bathroom. So let's just go ahead and get these three shelves decorated because yeah, uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to get them done because this bathroom has been kind of topsy-turvy for quite some time now. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, y'all, so I have one more thing to add to my shelf just to make it perfect. Uh, of course, it is Ariel's Dingle Hopper. How many times have you seen a fork in a bathroom? Well, not very many, have you? <laughs> so anyway, just adding that right here. Uh, and that's just going to um, have some of my guests asking me, Lita, why is there a fork on your bathroom shelves? <laughs> so anyway, this is some of the things that Ariel would have seen uh, you know, had she been in the, the ocean and finding all of her treasures, or maybe she came to the surface and was looking around and she found these old uh, uh, boards from a wrecked ship floating around. So anyway, it was just a lot of fun, uh, just adding a lot of whimsy in here. Okay, so anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you see the uh, rest of the bathroom, some of the things I've added, and uh, I'll tell you about some of them that I didn't mention while I was actually uh, putting the shelves together. So um, let's just go ahead and I'll show you the rest of the bathroom. Okay, so uh, this is just my guest bathroom. So it is just a, a very small bathroom, but it works great for us. Of course, this is the shower curtain that I chose to put up in here. Of course, representing those colors that you would see at the beach side or something like that. And there are the um, shells that uh, my shower curtain hooks that um, I showed you to a dry brush technique on. So they turned out really, really good. I uh, was really happy with those. Okay, and so the uh, three metal plaques up there, I did get those at Hobby Lobby, but I just thought that Ariel may have found those floating in the ocean, you know, after a shipwreck, you just never know, starting to get a little bit of rust on them there. So I just had to get those. And then this uh, wreath right here, this shell wreath that has this aqua color in it that I just absolutely love. And then of course, I've got some towels here that, um, you know, have a shell motif on them. So uh, absolutely love that just bringing all of that um, things that you would find in the ocean even into the towels okay over here at the sink area uh, of course I have a hand towel with the same shell motif there and then there's just a little rock and over here is my my um, uh, soap dispenser and I just love the colors on this added just a little bit of bling there uh, to the sink so I just absolutely love that had to get that of course here is the uh, northwest south and east you know uh, seamen need to follow that north, south, east, and west signs uh, when they're traveling on the ocean. Of course, and then above uh, on my toilet here is the shelves that I just put together for you. And again, there is my inspiration piece. 
Um, but this is just a little treasure box that I put together that may have been some of the jewels and some of the treasures that Ariel, Ariel had found uh, as she was uh, going to the ocean. Of course, there is the compass, a uh, big jewel. There's some keys. You just never know. She might have found a keys from a ship. I don't know. Some of this is just my imagination. And of course, there she has found a brooch um, that someone has lost when they were uh, lost at sea. So anyway, uh, on this second shelf here, or this first shelf actually, um, I have a fish back here. It just kind of reminded me of flounder. And I may yet paint that kind of yellow with some blue stripes. I'm not sure about that. Maybe, maybe. Uh, but then there's just some netting and of course, you know, seaweed and things like that that Ariel may have seen. Now these back here, you know, they could represent pearls, they could represent bubbles, you know, whatever you want. And of course, uh, the dingle hopper. And of course, you just have to have a few towels because this is really the bathroom. <laughs> then this second shelf, of course, there is the coral that I did the bride br brush technique on. And then there's some odds and ends, uh, things that I have had, things that I uh, purchased. Um, this I've had for a long, long time and these shelves, uh, shells right here um, collected those for many years okay so up there at the top there's just a basket of shells and some more seaweed and you know the grass that you'd find in the ocean and then that book right there now I just found the book but it did not have a little mermaid printed on it like that I did stencil that on there so that was just one of those little things that I added just to uh, make this bathroom um, you know, just a little bit more whimsical. Okay, y'all, I hope you enjoyed today's video of me putting my guest bathroom together. Uh, but I do love to decorate. It's just one of my hobbies, something I just love to do. Uh, I do have other rooms that I'll be sharing with you guys as I do them. Now, some I have, you know, gone ahead and done, uh, you know, without showing you because like, you know, it's my bedroom and stuff like that. But um, anyway, maybe when the whole house is done, I'll do a, another tour so you can see everything. Uh, but anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.